Hey everyone, it is Carol. I'm the creative owner and blogger at Be Inspired Market. And you are going to want to stick around because I have some, or some, I have, we have lots of DIYs here. Um, but tonight we are doing a spring decor one. Uh, it is all about the bunny butts. So as you're hopping on, say hi, let us know where you're from. You see, I see Linda popped on. Hey guys. So we're super excited. Uh, this is our regular Thursday Night Live, so again, hey Nicole, uh, we're going to do a cute little sign, um, bunny butts are all the rage, that's what they were last year, um, so that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how we're going to make them using the mason jars, um, so hopefully you guys stick around. Hey Jennifer and Carol, my husband Bill is here, hello, Hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome everybody in. Jacqueline's on. How hey, are you Charlotte. Guys? Hey, Jacqueline. So, um, we're going to start off with just a plain sign. You can get these at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, a lot of the places. Um, I'm going to take my dude off first. Bill's awfully quiet over there. <laughs> hey, Carol Close. Hey, Cecilia. Jenny Okuda. Oh, Kendall. Jenny's on. Kendall, how are you, Kendall? Are oh. you enjoying the snow? Love your shirt, they say. It was a shirt you grabbed um, for our Valentine's. We don't have it anymore. We stopped the Valentine's. Um, Valentine. Valentine's, Valentine's. Whatever. Hold on a second. You guys tell us. <laughs> how is it? Is it Valentine, T-I-N-E, or Valentine's, T-I-M-E-S? Carol thinks it's times. No, I don't. I know it's times. I just say times. Um, uh, you're so, wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> so we don't offer these any longer. Um, everybody's orders are out, and uh, but we are going to be doing spring. So I'll let you guys know when that happens. And just so when you know, we have the shirts. We have them for a certain amount of time, and then we move on to a new collection. So when you see them, grab them. Okay, so when you get these signs from like Michael's, or any other crafter, just sand it down a little just to get any of the gook or anything like tags or anything that might have been on there, just clean it off. Hey, Carmen. <laughs> oh, Kathy hasn't been on, hasn't been feeling well. Sorry about that. Mary, hello from very windy Wisconsin. Oh, I'm Soon sure. Soon to be 30 below this weekend. Ugh. Isn't that crazy? Mary, I'll send you some pictures of palm trees. Hopefully that warms you up. Oh, Girl. Karen said, I love your nails and your shirt. Thank you. Bill my, told me before we got on, he's like, you look kind of tired. Okay, thanks. Uh, you said the <laughs> same thing to me. I know. And it's Tynes, T-I-N-E-S. <laughs> so we're going to keep this in some soft um, colors. So I'm going to take the board and I'm going to paint it in um, Ballet Slipper by Waverly. So it's an acrylic paint. We're just going to go ahead and paint it. Um... And then go from there. And JR then I'm going to show says, you how we do the bunny butts. JR says, uh, it's however you want to say it, Carol. Oh. Just like Modge Podge. <laughs> right? How many grafters say Mod Podge wrong? Um, but yeah. So I know I might be a little early, but crafting. But I'll tell you, in this crafting world, we always go ahead of the game. Because you're going to start crafting probably in the next few weeks. So at least this way you'll have some ideas when you're out shopping, if you're at the stores or anything like that, you can pick up your supplies. So this is really easy. You just need a sign and you can use cardboard. You can use the signs from Dollar Tree um, as a base. You don't, it, it could be anything. You can have an a old sign from Goodwill. What? Yeah, just said love your hair tonight, Carol. <laughs> Go ahead, tell them. No. He said, Patches, I wasn't going to get any hair compliments tonight because I looked tired and my hair was just all over the I place. Was joking. So thank you, Patches. I was hey, joking. Karen. I said, you're not going to get any hair compliments tonight with hair like that. And we were laughing about it. Like literally <laughs> right before we went on, she was laughing. So I promise I'm not a joke. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jody, for spreading the honey. Five, Five times, she said. Jody. So that's our word here for sprinkle. So if you watch um, others that say sprinkle, we say spread the honey, but we know we have to say sprinkle because some don't know what spread the honey is. So, But we appreciate that. Pamela and Audra, thank you for the stars. Well, thanks, guys. 
So this ballet slipper, if you can find it at Walmart or Joann's, oh, thanks for all the hearts, um, is a really good color to have in your spring paint collection. I, when I think of spring, I always think of like pastels, pinks and purples and yellows and soft blues and stuff. Um, because those are your favorite colors. No, they're not my favorite colors. Yeah, I'm not a pastel your, girl, yellow's but yellow's your favorite color. Yes, but not like a soft yellow. Pink's I like a deeper. Your favorite color. Yes, but this is a soft pink. Why are we talking? Oh, really? <laughs> Thanks, Maggie, for spreading the honey. All right. What kind of crackle paint did you use on the video? I don't know. What Jennifer Arrington said, sorry to ask again, but what kind of crackle paint did you use on the video? Anytime I use crackle, I use um, the folk art crackle. Um, I have used Dixie Bell's crackle. So any, I don't have a specific brand because crackle really... Oh, actually, we could have done Crackle tonight. That would have been cool. Thank you for um, the star, Cheryl. So with Crackle, you just take your base, then you put your Crackle on top, and then you put your other color on top, and then whatever color is on the bottom is going to come through. But I don't have, like, a specific brand. Carmen said it might be the chippy technique. The oh. chippy technique she's thinking is Crackle. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Deborah, thank and for you for those, the stars. Oh, thanks for the stars. And for those that are asking, he is officially my husband. We did get married. So um, that's kind of what we've been doing in the last month, and that's why we weren't live. So when you guys spread the honey, you're just helping us get back into the Facebook world because you, you definitely lose speed when you don't go live. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, okay. More coffee. Okay, so somebody said they, they couldn't hear the video. We have sound on our end. Come in so and out. if you can't hear it, well, they're not going to hear me even say it. Yeah. <laughs> go out yeah. and come back in. <laughs> go out and come back in. <laughs> we got lots weird. of you guys on tonight. Oh, it matches your nails. Yes, it does. Thank, Thank you. you for the stars, Barbara. Two week streak. Yeah, we've been we had a busy. We we went to Chicago for Christmas. We came home. Uh, January, we got married, and here we are. And here we are in front of you guys. Oh, you guys are so nice answering each other's questions and stuff. That's awesome. That helps Bill out a lot. I try to see as much as I can, but I have this bright light in front of me. Uh, thanks for all the congratulations. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make bunny butts. If you're just joining, we're going to make bunny butts out of these little mason jars. Um, but I'm getting my surface paint it first. Before the bunny butts, this is the time where you want to sprinkle or spread the honey. Yes. Because you're going to have a friend that when you go to explain this to them, they're going to go, bunny butt on my mason <laughs> jar lid. And you can say, well, you saw the video, I sent it to you. Yeah. Okay. So, and then I'm going to dry brush some white on here. I personally like some kind of um, interest to a piece. So whether I'm going to sand it, whether I'm going to take maybe some black paint and put it on the edges and distress it a little, whether I take white and put it, I just like that look. But if you like it simply clean, just as it is, then just don't do it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Janet Radley sent 500 stars. Thank oh, you, Janet. Janet. That was very nice of Janet you. Janet has been a longtime follower, um, and she just rejoined our hive. So if you don't know, um, we have a subscription group. We have two. This is the one that you get the DIY kit. <laughs> People get confused. We have the Hive and we have the Club. The Hive, we send you a monthly kit every month to your door. And then we uh, craft with you live in a Facebook group. It is a monthly subscription. You can cancel at any time. Um, but it's open. And if you would like information, you can comment B-Box. B-E-E. -E. B O X. Um, okay. Tina McBride is a first time watcher. Hey, oh, Tina. welcome. If you like it, make sure you follow and uh, follow the page and hit the like button. See how it just takes it to the next level when you add something? So, like right there is a little too much for me. So, just go back into your pink that I have here. Michelle asked, Where do you find your sanding blocks? Um, Harbor Freight has them. Uh, any hardware store, Lowe's, even try Amazon. I'm sure Amazon has it. So see how like I had a little too much white right there? You could just take your paint and go over. The nice thing about acrylic paint is that you can paint over. So don't ever be afraid um, to have fun with your paintbrushes and just 
add a different look to the piece. Kim said, are you using just the mason jar lids or the jar also? No, just using the mason jar lids. Okay, so we're gonna let Janet that. sent 300 stars. Janet oh, thanks, Shepherd. Janet. Thank you, Janet. I can get paper towels. So thanks for sprinkling, guys. Christy Sink said, hi, you two. Hey, Christy. <laughs> Hey, Dana. Oh, Dana's on. Hey, Dana. Patricia Harper. Drinking coffee. Hey. Otherwise, I'd be drinking out of my cup. Okay. Let me put this away. Let me get a cup of coffee. There's the bee boxes. Nice. Uh, Cheryl Lynn likes the pink. Yes, comment. No obligation. You guys can go look over there um, and see. So now that I have that... Sometimes if you want to make your brush strokes a little cleaner, you can always take your sanding block and go over it again. Dawn, thanks for the stars, Dawn Patterson. And that will just blend it in. Am I shaking the table? Yeah, you're going to like spill all of our coffee. So that just helps clean it up so it looks more blended versus just dry brushing it. So, okay. Sherry Wolf loves Who wants to pink? see the... Oh, everybody loves the pink. I do too. So definitely get the Ballet Slipper by Waverly because it is definitely... One to have. I keep touching it. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> Gwen said your wedding was beautiful. It was. Oh, thank it was you. everything we could imagine. So yes. it was perfect, but thank you. Okay. So you guys want to see how to make these bunny butts? Um, <laughs> we're going to make this. So we have these jars. I know somebody's going to ask me the sizes. I'm not. And you can buy mason jar lids, but they have the be the ones that come out, not like solid. You can get those that are off of um, Amazon uh, or just use your jars that you have. If you have mason jars, you can always use the jars for something else, obviously. So this one is about three inches. Sherry Mullen said, hey, I don't this, know how they come, but that's three. Inches. She said, this is my first time watching and I love it. Oh, welcome. Yeah, if you're new, let us know where you're from. Just say, hey, I'm new. I'm new. And I'm from... <laughs> We'd like to welcome you in. Cincinnati or Columbus or California. Okay, so this is just, I don't know, I got it from Michael's, but it's like this yarn that you can see. See, like it looks like little fur. It's not fur, but it looks like it. That's what I'm using. But I will show you another way with another kind of yarn. Hold on, I just got to find... So, what just, I did... Just the lids, Sherry. Just, just the, the lids. lids. Just the lids. And if you get the ones with the jars, just use the jars some, you, you know, you, for another project. you said project. you can order just the rings, or do they... Rings. Come? That's a good word for it. Yes, you can order just the rings. Just the rings, yes. yes. Patches. Jar right. rings. So, what I did is I just took... Um, I'm doing this about six times. So, my cutting mat is 24 inches, and I'm doing it six times. Two, three, four... Oh, Janet got a lid of those. Six. Uh, Actually, let me do it a little more. This one's thinner. Janet Seven. Got a box of those lids for ten. Eight. Bucks. Oh, that I'm sure you can find them. Um, sometimes thrift stores, things like that. Sand, okay. Sandy's from Sacramento, California. Hey, Sandy. She's a new. They're called small mouth lids, Carol. Thank you. Thank Perfect. you. You guys are amazing, Maggie. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're going to start off with just tying. A little knot so it doesn't go anywhere okay and then you're just going to go in and out so you're taking your yarn you can double it up you can do whatever you want but we're just gonna go in and out and cover the rim of our little bunny butts do you guys decorate you've seen I'm sure there's so many bunny butt um, stuff out there I haven't seen it done with mason jars but I was going through the craft room and I wanted to do something and I was like, oh, well, what can I do that has those bunny butt looks? Somebody said, what about small embroidery hoops? Those would work too. Perfect. Yep. Carmen. Yep. Oh, that was that was Carmen? Carmen? Yes. I didn't want to throw out Carmen's name right away. Carmen. Yes, that would work perfect too. You're amazing, Carmen. <laughs> Absolutely. So just go in and out. This is a really cute craft you could do with your kids or your grandkids. Um, Juanita says Walmart has them. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's good to know. And I'm sure that's probably the best um, price for them. But you're going to see how quick this goes. I don't know why I keep like going around. The one time, I don't know what craft I was doing one time, and I was literally taking the string and like pulling it from, like, from the, the 
carpet. I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. So if you have um, thicker yarn, it's obviously going to be less. You just don't want to knot it up. Well, Maggie, Maggie Collins, you just posted something now. She said there's two Maggies here, LOL. You said something about Maggie, and I went, oh, wait, I didn't post anything. <laughs> you didn't know, Maggie. There's two hopefully, of you. Hopefully you're having a good night, Maggie Collins. Oh, yeah. Cherie said you could get the lids for two seventy eight. Hmm. That's a good deal. I wonder how many are in there. I didn't see. Thanks for spreading the honey. We appreciate that. That just gets us back out in Facebook world. <laughs> So this graph, once you do this, you're going to be able to do it for other things. See, this is what I meant. Don't get all mixed up. It's not the end of the world. But there we go. You kind of see your end. And if it gets knotted up, it's not going to make a difference. It's going to be fine. So, and I have one made here so you guys will see. I should I have two made here? But that's okay. We haven't spent time with you guys in a while. <laughs> I'll show them the one and then... And then what? Put the yarn in a snack bag. Hold on. Put the yarn in a snack bag and it won't fall apart. Oh. Oh. That's and it. as you pull, you kind of just pull it through. it through. Yep. Sharon Hollinsworth, what a great tip. All right. So we got this. So you're going to just keep going around. You can use different color yarn. I'm going to show you another yarn that I, or another one that I did. <laughs> Tina Clemens. Carol, what? you look super pretty tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bill telling me I look tired. I don't know. I wasn't being mean, though. We laughed about it. I know, it. we I did. know I don't want them to think like I'm a jerk. No, they know you're not a jerk. I was just being... I, was I would like, have backed out of the wedding if you <laughs> You should see his face. No Thanks for spreading now. the honey. Laura York Thanks, said I Lori. like your shirt. Howdy from Texas. Robbie Brown. Welcome. So see how it's coming together? Look at it. Look like a little bunny. <laughs> I think they just make me laugh. Hey, Brenda. How are you tonight? Okay. I'm going to keep going. What These kind of yarn good. are you using? The, I don't know the name of it. I had it um, I had it a while ago, but it's, it's just really fluffy. You can kind of see it on my hands. See how fluffy it is? Happy birthday to... Whose birthday? Charisse. Oh, that's right, yes. Charisse. Uh -huh. And I gotcha. think Allison's birthday was yesterday. Yesterday? Okay. Yeah. She wasn't on though yesterday. No, she wasn't. I would have sang to her yesterday, <laughs> Allison. Uh, Brenda's here. Oh, yeah, Patches. I got to take good care of her. Do we have any ladies that ha are in the hive? They're here, right? Um, Give them a shout out. That's what we said about the hive, which is our group. It's the ladies in there that make it. Pat Larson, amazing. how are you? Oh, Pat's in there. Oh, they're all saying happy birthday to Sharice. <laughs> I thought you were saying happy birthday to me. Okay, so you see how you're going to go all the way around, okay? I know that. I should have had uh, two done. Lisa said it looks like eyelash yarn. Oh, maybe that's what it's called. Thank you. Chanel type of yarn. Um, It might be. It definitely has that like eyelash look um but it's really it's really puffy not puffy but it's kind of thin so you can go so we're going to just go all the way around and then to make the bunny part so let's say you cut this the yarn less than you or you need more we'll be able to tie it so it's not a big deal there's sue hey sue hey sue sue's in the hive shirley's here yes shirley's in the hive too we have Pamela is new to the hive. Carol Close just said the hive is representing. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Close has been there since day one. <laughs> day one, we started uh, doing kits, um, and Carol's been in there. Okay. Barbara, said, Barbara said, I just joined the hive. Hey, welcome. Michelle is from the UK. See how cute that is? Um, somebody awesome. said, can you also use a mop head from Dollar Tree? Um, the mop head might be a little too thick. So all I'm going to do, see how I ran out of yarn and I'm going around? It's not a big deal. Tony Shapiro said, what is the hive, Carol? So the hive is, uh, we have a subscription group where you are sent a kit every month. So last night, which is the first Wednesday of the month, we go live in the group and we craft with you. 
But what's fun about it, it's become, because <laughs> uh, Bill crafts with me, and we were just talking about that last night, that he uh, he's like upped his crafting game. <laughs> um, but you get a kit every month. You can cancel at any time. And we just have a lot of fun in there. We really do. So, and Donna. we do Zoom. So we get to see you too. But, Donna just joined. Okay, so like, now you have, I'm sorry, you have this. And you're just going to go around. You're going to cover the middle of your bunny butt. Lisa Jones just joined the hive. Oh, welcome. Yeah, we had uh, the project. I'll show you tomorrow. Um, but what I was saying about Bill is like, so when we first started, he would craft with me and I would say, do this, do this, do this, do this. And and he would do it. I mean, that's that was what it was. <laughs> Now he walks in, probably the ladies can attest to this. He walks in and he's like, can I do this? And then before it's like, well, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> so now he gets his own project and then it's kind of like a duel, you know, who did it better? I think he won last night though. You guys will. Yeah. What do you guys think? The <laughs> ladies that are in the hive. They will vote tomorrow. Oh, 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 okay. Don't vote tonight. <laughs> Don't vote tonight. <laughs> Don't vote tonight. I guess she's got something planned. For oh, tomorrow. good, Tony. Okay. So see how it's coming together? It's just, and you, you can make it as thick as you want. You know, I mean, you got to know, though, when you're doing it this way, the thicker you go, it's going to get wider. So it's not going to necessarily get thicker here, but you can get it to whatever point you want. Okay, so that's one bunny butt. <laughs> and then you just take the glue and glue your little piece to the back. Joy said he needs to be a visiting crafter if he's that good. <laughs> <laughs> he should go on the live. But it's, it's, it's funny because... I think what I'm, you know, what I'm seeing is from him doing it month to month to month, he's, he's becoming creative. Like he's like thinking outside of the box, like, oh, I'm going to do it this color or I'm going to do it that color. And he like gets really into it. He washes his hands a hundred times. Mind you, he is not a dirty crafter. And I'm not very creative when it comes to that. Be honest, right? No, well, you're creative. That was glue. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, not when it comes to that, though. Thanks I've gone hearts. over time. Yes, between, that's what I meant, over yeah, time. Yeah, but when I started, I wasn't. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, so we got the bunny butt. I'm going to finish it off. Sorry, we're going to do another one because I don't have... Bear with me. But you guys are good, right? Yeah, oh. <laughs> Everybody's good. Patcha said the bunny bun. Bunny two, bun. Yeah, they're popular. Three, Katie four, said Bill loves five, glitter. No, six, I don't. <laughs> I do not like glitter. That's funny. That's funny. Nope. No paint and no glitter. No paint and no or glitter. Or fake fur. Or fake fur. So pretty much everything. All right, so we're, if you're just joining us, welcome. Uh, Carol said, are you guys participating in the husband and wife Valentine's crafting? Uh, we didn't hear anything about it, so probably yeah. not. <laughs> But thanks for thinking of us. Pamela said, you're right, Pamela. Pamela said, last night, Bill shocked Carol when he asked her where her rubber stamps and ink were. Yeah. <laughs> he really did. I was like, so you guys will see his project tomorrow. Oh, he, Pamela, he did. I love you, Pamela. That he, was awesome comment. He, he did it really good. The look on my face was priceless. You guys remember her face? She was, what? what I'm like, what? yeah. What? She was like, what? <laughs> she, uh, Helen said, take your time, Carol. I enjoy both of you. Oh, good. <laughs> That's like he did. Oh, <laughs> Kirsten's having a blizzard Ugh, in Kirsten, Canada. Be careful. Oh, it's. Yeah, it's a fall. It's <laughs> <laughs> in Canada? Kirsten, in Canada? Really? Like the north? Like up by Michigan and everything? You're not, like, oh, you're not getting all that snow? Uh, <laughs> you guys are Pamela funny. said, love to make you laugh. That's awesome, Pamela. <laughs> Uh, all right. Hey, Brenda. So I'm going to show you, I have also, and I'll show you this one. So if you can't find this, okay, you can always use different yarn. It's not a big deal. I found this at Michael's. This is really cute, too, and I'm going to show you my buddy with this. That's just pastel colors. I will say the eyelash yarn, though, makes it look fluffy. Yes, it makes it look like, like fur, hair. Yeah. for sure. But when you go to Michael's or any of the craft stores, Joann's or whatever, just... 
you know, I don't know, take your mason jar with you. <laughs> Cheryl said, can you tell us what you're making again? Uh, we are making a cute little sign and we're going to put little bunny butts on it. So I'm gonna, we're making the bunnies out of mason jars, just the lid part. So the lid has to open up like that. You're going to get a little knotted. But thanks for sprinkling, guys. We love spending time. So we're usually, if you're new here, if you hit follow, we usually go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then sometimes we do bonus lives, depending. We're trying to up our, our live game here. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. Get on our texting, which is 847 three four nine four four seven seven and we text you when we go live bill got quiet over there um i was responding somebody asked where uh where can we go check out more information on the hive and if you would like more information on the hive there's some easy ways to do it um you can go to beinspiredmarket.net mm -hmm. and you can get more information there on the um on the hive or they can comment B box, <laughs> B E E space, B O X, and we will send the information right to you. We make it easy. Yeah, we try to. I'm getting a little toasty in here. Oh, you're it's, welcome. Hey, Allison. Happy late birthday. Oh, Tara wanted the phone number. Honey, can you come over here and just hold it over my head so I don't stop? Bill's gonna give, show you guys the number. Snap you can this. Uh, snap it on your phone. Snap it on your phone. <laughs> snap it on your phone. Honey. Right now, snap. Well, if I hold it over your head, they're not gonna see it. And that's what you said. Hold it over your <laughs> head. So if you wanna duck down. Okay, show or it. Or I can just hold it like that. There snap it. Snap it. <laughs> snap it. Got it. Okay, good. And I tripped on my shoelace. So look how cute that is. Oh, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, buddy. But you can make a few of these. So, thanks, guys. You guys are sprinkling. We had a video yesterday, actually, that I talked about the hive. And if you go to that video um, and sprinkle, somebody's going to actually win the February kit. March's kit is the one that you'd be signing up for. Everybody's like, got it, thanks. Just tuned in. Is that yarn Debbie said? Yes, it is yarn. Yarn on a uh, mason jar lid, lid ring. Yep. So once you get it all covered, okay, that's when you go. You see, if it gets all knotty or anything like that, you don't have to really worry because it's going to kind of blend in. It's not going to be a big deal. Oh, uh, somebody what? said, can you show the mason jar craft on your wall behind you? Yes, when we're done, we can. It's uh, Be My Honey, if that's the one you guys are thinking of. We can show you. Hold tight. And we actually didn't make that. That, oh. was a, that was from a follower. Oh. A long time ago. Long time ago she sent it. Jody said, hey, honey, quit being a little poop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you get a little naughty here. It's okay. It's going to all go. See, it goes right in the middle. Well, maybe not. There it goes. Um, so then you're going to just wrap it. And see how I ran out of yarn? I'm gonna get my spool, my spool, my skein, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> and let me get the beginning. We're gonna put this together. Oh my gosh, I got a big hot mess going. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's a surprise. Might as well just throw some glitter on the floor. <laughs> so if you run out of yarn, just tie a knot. You won't even notice. Won't even notice. Okay. So thanks for hanging out with us. Get that one underneath there. Yeah, just tuck it in. Tuck it in, and there you go. And like I said, you can, you don't have to do white bunnies. If you have different color yarn or something like that, you can do it. So all you're doing is covering up the middle. See? Oh, thanks, who was that? Lois said, best wishes. Thank you. We had so many cards and gifts that came in it was so sweet you guys are amazing okay so once i'm happy with it we're gonna make them look like bunnies bunnies okay so that's what we have so far hey karen 
So, this is eventually what he's gonna look like. Doesn't he look like a little bunny butt? <laughs> So, what was with the you for the butts, you can use cotton, but because it was white on white, I didn't want that, but you can. So, I just have this colorful yarn that I said, and I'm going to just make the slightest little pom-pom. I'm just taking my two fingers, and I'm wrapping it around. Oh, thanks, Patches. Carol said, cute idea. Good. Okay, so see, like, my fingers are pretty tight there. <laughs> Careful. You cut so fast, it makes me feel So when you make a pom-pom, you're just going to take your string and you're going to wrap it around. Sherry Wolf said, how cute is that? So you just use your fingers. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so when you do a pom-pom, you got it on your fingers and then you're, you're going to tie it before you slide it off. Yeah, Kim, we heard Illinois was getting snow and we saw in the news... Um, that I-80 was bad. I've traveled I-80 so many times, um, many times over the years. And, uh, I don't yeah, that's a tough stretch of road. Yeah, he even knew, like, we were watching the news, and he said, he's like, it was probably here. I said, like, yeah, that was I-80 in, in Iowa. It's either I-80, right, in the Midwest, or 65, north of Indianapolis. Those are the two areas that just the roads get so bad. But, yeah, be safe. So we're making just a little cute little pom-pom butt. Patcha says she loves little butts. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was just a pop of color so it didn't look like white on white. But if you have just pom-poms, use pom-poms. Use what you have. But trim your little, your little butt. Hey, everybody that's getting snow, what a good time to uh, sprinkle and spread the honey. Ooh, Let's do that it. one came out so much better than this one. Look at the little butt. I think I gotta make it a little smaller. Kind of make it proportional. You don't want it too, too puppy that it looks kind of like all you're looking at is the little tail. So, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Kim said, oh heck, I stayed home all day. <laughs> okay, look how cute. You guys see that? You can make it a little smaller. They you said can... they love the color of that yarn. The yarn, I got it last year, but it's like, it actually, it's called, it's like the baby blanket yarn. So, oh, I see the hearts. So it's the baby blanket, but it's all mixed in there, like yellows and pinks and blues and stuff. So I just love it. Oh my God, that, that pom-pom came out cute. All right, let's do another pom-pom because we got to do it for the other one. Don't stick your little butts on the... And you do get a puppy pad with every kit you get. I have to say that. <laughs> I'm trying to find somebody that would put my brand on a puppy pad. <laughs> so, pom-pom, two fingers. Make it as fat as you want. And then take it. Put it through your finger. Like a Thank you for all the thumbs up and the hearts. Oh, thanks, guys. Likes, I guess, not thumbs up. They are thumbs up. Here comes up. So. Uh, Amanda Moore said, hey, I was just working on my craft from the high. Oh, yes. Amanda's yeah. in there. She joined. That's yes. awesome, Amanda. We had fun. Amanda, when you do it, do you follow along on the video? Like, do you watch the video, too? Like, again or no? Do you just watch it once and then... Because the like, video, if you can't make the live, like you see, like Amanda didn't... you The replay is always there for you. So it doesn't go away. So you don't have to, you don't have to watch. Sheila Stubbs, thank you for the stars. Oh, thanks, Sheila. Why do you repeat me every time? I don't know. <laughs> uh, what would, oh, what did you originally wrap? So originally what I wrapped was a little mason jar. So it's just the mason jar. That's what we wrapped. Oh, that one was good. This one's kind of wonky, but we'll fix it. Not Ooh, two butts aren't alike. Cindy Davis. What? She said, couldn't you just get a stamper made with your name and then you could just stamp each puppy pad? We could. Oh, That's a cute idea. That is a good start. We just started putting, we put puppy pads in, in the very first box. And we thought, oh, we'll just do it for the first box, like like a cute. But now I think the ladies expect it because it's just, it's our signature thing. I always well, no, have. I, I think it's important to have in there. Right. Well, Bill, because of cleansing, cleanliness and make sure you don't dirty your table. 
all that stuff. Um, Lori Parks, thank you for the stars. 10 week streak. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. That's a good idea, though. Huh. It was Cindy, Cindy Davis. I think it was Cindy, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yes. a good, de good idea. I was gonna say good deed. <laughs> I think the, the the trimming of the bomb bomb is very therapeutic. Don't you agree? Okay. Oh, Kirsten said, I love the puppy pad. Yeah, Kirsten's been there since day one, too. Sherry Wolf knows a way to my heart. She said, Bill, just made Mongolian beef Ooh. to die for. Oh, nice. Okay, Sherry Wolf, you know how to text us? <laughs> Send me the recipe. We'll trade recipes. <laughs> right. I smoked a chicken on the smoker today because it was like 68 degrees today, and then we had... Uh, uh, like smoked chicken tacos. They yeah, they were, were good. Really good. They were good. I love the puppy. It's pepper. nice because Bill does it. Uh, he does the cooking. Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Pat Larson said yes, and I now use puppy pads religiously. Do you really? I Who else uses I just puppy pads? A pack from Amazon. Oh, that's so fun. Let me clean this guy. Or have up. stickers, Susie said. Oh, that's we a good idea. Stickers on there too. <laughs> Tracy said, oh, it just popped on. Now I'm going to have to go watch the replay. This looks so cute. Cute. Okay. So let's glue the little... These, these on the live actually came a lot better than the one I did as my practice run. So if you're just joining, all we did was take some mason jars. We made them into little bunny butts. Look how cute. Okay, so I'll start with Sherry Wolf's house and I'll have the Mongolian beef. Mm -hmm. And then I'll travel to Sheila Stubbs' house and have the chili. <laughs> Two of my faves. <laughs> okay. Oh, Amanda Moore said, thanks for the skewer tip. Thanks for the skewer tip so you don't get your fingers dirty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, I think the hardest part of this is making the little feet. So, um, I'm just going to cut a piece of felt. You ladies are creative. I'm sure you can come up with ways, but I kind of like when I look at the feet of the bunny, I'm probably wasting material. Don't do as I do. Um, I always think like a tulip. It always seems like it looks like a tulip. So I'm just taking my belt, folding it in half. So my feet kind of look the same. Yes. The puppy pads from Dollar Tree are good. Yeah. Those are good ones. The mm -hmm. Dollar Tree puppy pads. I think we get ours from Amazon and we probably have a half a garage full of them. Yeah. <laughs> I always have to have, if I don't have a puppy pad, I go like ballistic. Like I need a puppy pad. Yes. Everybody's saying the puppy pads make cleanup so easy. Easy. It's, it is. It's fun. And I said the story was because we moved. So if you, if you're new here, we moved originally, we're from Illinois and we moved to Florida and we had a boxer and a cat and, um, we kind of just put the puppy pads in like the cat's box just in case, you know, and, um, because you know, Bill, we were not stopping. <laughs> yeah, we were not stopping it. So, um, but when we got to Florida, I was like, well, what am I going to do with all these puppy pads? And then one night I was crafting and I took it out and I put it on the con on the dining room table and it's been ever since. Okay. So like I said, it's, it's a tulip. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's, it's not the best, but it's, it's close enough. You can play with it. People get the idea. Tony, did you get it about the puppy pads? She asked about the puppy pads. They're actually on here. Yes, They're it's actually on, on here. And it's like a dog pee pad, I guess. Yeah. You put it in a cage when you're puppy training your pet or on your floor. Or on your floor. Or on your floor. But Carol uses them on her craft table. And then when you get done crafting with paint or all that stuff or glitter and that kind of stuff, then all you got to do is wrap it up and throw it away and your table's clean. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about a mess. So that was it, Tony. She said, can so. you tell I'm new here? What's <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys doing with the puppy pads? <laughs> Welcome. All right. So just snip, snip away. Like I said, I'm not... I'm not the best. It's kind of hard when you're doing the felt. But yeah, see, you Kathy Moran said, Cra I craft on my dining room table and mm -hmm. puppy pads save it. Oh, perfect. See? And Kathy's in the hive. Yes, everybody, it just, it's, it's fun. So snap me your pictures of your puppy pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that one looks a little like, I don't know. Okay, so you guys can still see what I'm doing. If the comments are in the way, I should have said it earlier, you can just swipe away. Okay, and then I just have a Posca pen in pink. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it those little paw marks. Um, let's see here. But anybody can do this. And if you do it, um, we have we have a group. It's a, a group that's part of our page that you can go and share your projects. So Karen, you know what? this, we'd love to see it. Karen Duchesne, you know what's so funny? The glitter bothers me. So everybody, the glitter bothers me, right? You guys know that. But sand does not. Like, sand doesn't bother me. I'll show you the cute one. That's my little paw. <laughs> Look at my little paw. I get all excited. Hold on, I'm going to get my little scissors. You guys are good. Yeah, they're fine. They're no what kind of pen stuff. is that? So that's a Posca pen. That's right there. You can get them. Um, I got mine at Amazon. If you're new here, you'll know that I love Amazon. Looks like we have a lot of new people in here. Hey, Regina. Welcome. Regina's new. She said, great tip on the puppy pad. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Good. Okay. I'm just cleaning up the feet a little. Okay. Oh, Karen said my hubby hates sand. Karen, you're, you're in clear water. <laughs> okay. I have, before I put these down, before, oops, I lost the foot. Okay. <laughs> Don't lose a foot. Okay. I thought it would be cute. I have this stencil and I thought, it's a stencil from Essential Stencils, and I thought of putting hip hop on the bottom. What do you guys think? Hip hop. So I was going to do like that with the bunny and then put hip hop mm -hmm. like right there. I think that'll look like cute. It. What do you guys think? While you guys are down. voting. I'm going to do my hanger. So for my hanger, I'm going to do wire. I'm going to take a um, clothes hanger that you get. Hip hop or no hip hop? Yeah. Hip hop or no hip hop. And I'm not a dancer. I might be able to sing. Hey, Don Estacalo. Why is this not? Um, bunnies are going to be in multiple at my house. Terry <laughs> <laughs> said, I had such a blast with that kit last night. Thank oh, you, Terry. Oh, good. Kathy says hi from Hudson, Florida. Not too far from us, Kathy. I should have measured better. Okay, um, you guys are still voting hip hop. No, they're not. You got to tell me yes or no, hip hop. Yes or no, hip hop. So I'm taking cute. metal. So this is just a hanger. And it's just different than a jute, than using jute. But you can definitely use, um, I'm going to twist that around. Yeah, just fold it down. It should hold. Fold it down. Fold, bend it down. Bend, bend it, it down. It. You watch the comments. I am. They're all saying hip hop so far. Oh, everybody's saying Shelly hip hop. Shelly said yes to hip hop. Let's see a hip hop, Shelly. Went to a rummage sale and they had a huge box of puppy pads for a dollar. I'm good for at least a year, Judy Jones said. Okay, That's a great to, find. Why is it not oh, backwards? The, Kirsten the, said, uh, go the said, right way. Kirsten said, um, right hip hop, right hip on one side and hop on the other. That's kind of what you were doing. Yes. Right? Perfect, Kirsten. We'll, we'll do it that way. So I need stronger pliers from the garage, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to bend. I guess it bends. The birthday girl yesterday, Allison, says yes to hip hop. Good. Okay. We got a lot of hip hops. Good. Okay. There we go. Okay. Don't lose the feet. All right. Let's do the hip hop. Thanks for voting. <laughs> All right. So essential stencils. I got my stencil brush. I don't have the black paint. Get that. Uh, Patches said no wire hangers. Yeah, I don't know where oh. we got that from, Patches. <laughs> where we got? Oh, <laughs> wait. You when you did your um, uh, what's that called? You did your cleaning. No, they don't do. Wire. Somebody did it. I got it from your closet. You took a hanger from my closet. Uh -huh. You got to stay out of my closet. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the stencil. And this is from Essential, Essential Stencils. I don't know if it's in stock. If you comment stencil, you'll get the link. Yep. Hop. Perfect. Uh, Just something cute. Somebody said, I can't find wire hangers anywhere. I need one for a project, and I couldn't find one to save my life. Really? You know, Have you tried um, Goodwills and stuff, don't yeah. they? No, they don't do wire hangers at Goodwill. See how cute that is? Hip hop. And you can add more to it. I mean, if you, I guess I like the little, no, I don't want the ears. Because I got butts going on. I don't need ears. Yeah, Penny, we, um, 
Penny, we, uh, Penny Sue, we use the puppy pads to put when we're traveling in the car. Yeah, our animals are pretty good in the house. We don't use them in the house. Now we just use them for crafting. But we used them in the car, and actually they didn't even use them in the no, car. No, we didn't. I mean, those cats, we had two cats that we traveled from Illinois to Florida, and neither of them, until we got to the hotel, did any business. So that was good. Mm -hmm. Use thinner wire and you could curl the ends, Pat yes. said. Yep, that works. Okay, I'm trying to see. I kind of like how that one's sitting. But... Oh, they're saying no to the wire hanger. Don't oh. put the wire hanger oh, on that, I sorry. guess. sorry. <laughs> you could do jute. But somebody said Walmart has them. But you could do jute. Jute came with the sign. I just wanted to do something a little different. <laughs> all right look how cute look how cute i think it's so it's, it's adorable cool. and literally it's a mason jar so there's our one little bunny let's get his other feet and some of the feet look funky look a little fat or whatever it is but well, some bunnies are different than others not yeah. every bunny is the same true sherry said it looks fine to me I like the wire hanger. Amazon has wire hangers. Ew. Oh, uh oh. Well, I guess I know it's showing up at our house tomorrow. <laughs> a Dollar General and Dollar Tree, Shelly said. You can get the wire hangers. Okay. Okay. Let's put this guy together. This one's the cutest one. So he'll be in the middle. Oh, Donna said it's from a movie. What? Mommy Dearest. No wire hangers. Maybe that's what they were saying. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> Thanks for all the hearts. Tried Goodwill, thrift store, not a wire hanger in sight. Oh, well, the ladies are helping. You could use a lightweight chain, Faith said. Yes. That would look good, too. You're right. And then Sheila said this would Should be so much... Should have taken pictures. So much fun to do with my granddaughters. Yes. Little butts. Okay, it's cute. My little interpretation of buddy butts. Look how cute. I think it's adorable. Cool. Do you guys what do you guys think? Is it cute? Try clears out my battery. Oh, beads would look nice as a hanger. Oh, beads absolutely would look nice. I like that. This is adorbs. <laughs> Dry cleaner Polly sell you a wire hanger. That's true. Here comes Amazon. Here comes <laughs> Amazon. You guys know me well. Oh, I see all the hearts. Yay! So if you guys make it, make sure you come to the group show us. Um, we have, uh, what you call it, what else we have going on. So the Hive, if you're watching, make sure you guys comment B-Box so you can get into the Hive. We're only open this week, and that's it. Flea when markets. is the last day? Uh, Sunday. Sunday is the Sunday last day. Sunday is the last day. So. Oh, everybody's giving tips for the, the hanger. You could use ribbon, yes, jute raffia, that's a good idea. Thank you for... The stores that might have hangers. Oh, <laughs> she's saying thank you, everybody. Precious. Oh, good. Carmen said, go to the dry cleaner and ask. They will give them to you. Jeez. Carol said, oh, my eyes are really red. Yeah, Carmen, ours uses plastic. They use all plastic, so ours wouldn't have it. But, yeah, if you're, check with your dry cleaner. Lois said, love, love, love. Super cute. Puts a smile on your face. Good. And simple. Like I said, super easy. Anything for the board. Um, and then the mason jars for the little butts. Little pom poms, see it? It's so cute. And then the feet, like I said, you just do the feet. They look like a little tulip. Put the little pad on there and the little toes. And you're good to go. Good. I'm so glad. Well, make sure you guys are on the texting. It's 847 349 4477. If you need something, have questions about the hive or anything else, just feel free to text us. Um, and then we will text you the next time we go live. But normally we go live Tuesdays. And Thursdays, but we're really trying to up our game. So you'll see definitely some more bonus lives. I love it. Good. Cheryl said, love it. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, be safe, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Be careful in that winter blizzard. Yeah. Be safe. Bye, guys. Stay warm. <laughs>